Alright, so welcome back to the second part of the tutorial. Um, I tried to create a Dropbox tab here on the website and for some reason it wouldn't work the way I wanted it to. So what we're going to do as a um, as a Dropbox is we're just going to have you submit it to the email address given before. Um, eventually I will put that up here on the website it'll probably just be under the materials tab or I might just put it up here on the home page just like right below here or maybe below battalion news put like a Dropbox here and then email um, but yeah so instead of going over the Dropbox like I wanted to um, I'm just gonna kinda go over the website um, please note this website is still a work in progress. I'm still kind of fine tuning it. So, um, this website is subject to dramatic change. Um, but for now, the homepage is pretty much done. It's a matter of like the little tabs over here and stuff that I have to work on. Alright, so for the homepage, we've got a little welcome message how you join, um, what materials you need, and a nice little uniform that you can buy for $212. Yeah, the price sounds a little steep, and I'll admit it's more than I've paid for uniforms before, but when I bought uniforms in the past, um, I was purchasing them through my old JROTC program, so I got a military discount. Um, now I don't get those because I'm not in the program anymore, not an official one at least. So um, uniforms are going to be purchased through acuarmy.com. Um, if you want to check out their website, I'll put a link in the description if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, but the uniform package includes the jackets, the pants, the cover, uh, the nameplate, and the club tape. Um, a U.S. flag, which is subdued, meaning it's um, black and white, almost a silver color, and also reverse. The reason why it's not the red, white, and blue with the yellow border like what you see actual soldiers wearing is because that's in violation of the cadet command regulations and the army regulations for army JROTC cadets. Um, but then it'll also come with the army combat boots, should say boots, I'll fix that. Um, the first ACU digital rank patch which will be private unless I've di uh, designated you as a different rank. Um, in ACU 54 inch belts, um, they only have this one size, um, but it's a standard uh, cinch belt and when you actually see it you'll know what I'm talking about, um, but it's pretty, pretty easy to wear. And then an ACU uh, tan t-shirt that goes underneath the jacket for sweat absorption. Um, you can also order the canteen and the pistol belt separate I believe on the website I haven't looked at all the fine knickknacks that it's got um, but if we go out and we do like let's say on the 14th through the 17th of April we have the cadet challenge and you want to have a water bottle with you on your uniform um, I advise you can, you can use a normal water bottle I have no problem with that because you need to have some form of water I can control how you have that um, but if you want to have the uniform standard one it'd be the canteen and the canteen um, holster with the pistol belt and if I can find it on there I'll show it to you on a later video where I actually go in depth on what all the uniform pieces are and um, how we'll size you and stuff like that but yeah so going over to the calendar here um, we have our first meeting on the 31st of March um, green, as you can see here, are announcements. Um, blue, not including these, these are like purple, I guess, but they're, yeah, see, contact, birthdays and events, holidays in, in the United States. Um, those are going to be there. I have no way of getting rid of them, which is really annoying. Um, but yeah, we have our first meeting, which is an announcement. The LET1 work, as you can see, is in red, so it's for officers. And then the cadet challenge at track field is in brown, and you can't really see it because of the color here and how small it is, but brown is PT or physical training. Um, I didn't put it on here, but every Friday starting on the 11th through the 25th and then on into March, or not March, um, May, and then up until we actually get out of school for the summer, uh, we'll have after school PT um, either at my house or at the track field depending on what I can get authorized. 
Um, but um, meetings are from 2.30 to 4.30 or 5 o'clock, depending on how long the lesson runs. Um, there will be meetings where we will run later to like 7 o'clock, but on those rare occasions, dinner will be served out of my pocket, and that's my treat. Just because you guys won't get to eat with your family, and I know a lot of you guys like that, but at the same time, you chose to make the sacrifice to be there that late so you can learn this material because you're that dedicated, or what I would like to hope is dedication. Um, but if it is an extended meeting where it'll go later into the evening, um, it will stay, it will say, um, in this case it's first meeting, it'll say extended meeting. And extended will be bold, or, um, capitalized so you can see it clearly. Um, as you can see here also on the 7th, we have our materials due. This is going to be your binder with two reams of college rule notebook paper that you can put into the binder. And then some kind of writing utensil that is not pen and a highlighter and that can be any color you want. Um, I may have put like you have to have a yellow one or something on here. I don't know. I haven't really read this since I actually wrote it. Um, but yeah, um, you can always go on here. I'll probably be updating this once a week. And also all of our... Um, lessons that I give in the club meetings will be going on the YouTube page as well as the um, I'll have a videos page here too um, but that'll be on here and then there will be links so I don't have like a page of like a crap ton of videos they'll just be links to all the original videos with the title of them and all that stuff that way you can just be like oh this is the video I need to click and it'll pop up for you um, but yeah, for the most part, that's pretty much it on the homepage. So the materials, um, this is where you're going to find the chain of command charts. Um, note that this is not in detail to names, but it'll show you who's in charge of who, um, who is what rank, and, um, all that fun stuff. Um, the tutoring contract, I'm going to actually show this to you because I need to talk to you guys about this. Um, at Post and Butte High School, we have mandatory tutoring for some teachers if you have a zero in their class. With the JROTC club, we have a mandatory tutoring program if you have a C, D, or an F. The reason why a C is because, in my eyes, C is not passing. You are at average, and we are supposed to be above average cadets. Um... So the rule for tutoring is you have to do um, for every grade or for your first initial deficient grade, whether it be a C, D, or an F, has to be three hours. It does not matter what that grade is. If it's a C, D, or an F, you automatically have three hours. Now, for every other grade, like let's say you have one C, two Bs, a D, an F, and another D. And I think that's six. I don't know. Um, like, let's say you just have full on, like, you are at average or below on all of your classes. That would mean that you would have to have a total of 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hours of tutoring in one week. Now, 13 hours of tutoring, well, I don't have any options for that. If you email your teacher ahead of time, I'm sure a lot of them wouldn't mind morning tutoring, lunchtime, after school. You can ask another student for all I care. Um, you can also have monitor online tutoring. By monitor and online tutoring, I mean like your parents can vouch that says, yes, my student was online tutoring for the subject that he was deficient in. And then a private tutor, and this would be like your learning time, the YMCA, all that stuff. Anything that you're using to help you study further into your subjects. Um, also on a side note, co-student tutoring also means myself or any other cadet in the program who has knowledge of the subject you're talking about. Now, as you can see here, this form must be signed by the cadet's tutor. What's going to happen here is you're going to put the date that you went in, 
the time that you were there, and this is just um, uh, put start to end time. Um, the place that you're in, if it was at the school, you'll put the room number, what subject it was, the tutor's last name, and then the tutor must sign it here. Now, in case you have, like, where you decide to space it out all 13 hours for one block, like, from this, um, this just covers this time, but I was also there for this time and this time, you can leave the second block here blank, so I'll know, okay, this is the same day you just decided to separate the time bits. Um, you can have that, and then this time to this time, this time to this time. If the place is the same, just leave it blank. If the subject's the same, leave it blank. And then if the tutor name's the same, leave it blank. And then this tutor still has to sign this second block. That way you can't just, like, fill out 13 hours worth of studying time without multiple without or with only having one signature um, but then you have a second page here in case you need it um, you probably won't need all these boxes it's just there to fill up the page alright so also here you can find the handout books this will be what like your extra learning material will be in there may be days where I'll assign these uh, somewhere in these um, books but more likely than not, they'll just be there for you guys to use to um, further understand the material that's being taught. And then you can also find the actual textbooks. Um, on the first meeting, you guys will need this one, which is the Leadership and Education Training LET1 textbook.pdf. You'll need this downloaded on your laptop and open ready for class. Um, but yeah, for the most part, that's it. Um, yeah, so make sure when you guys come to the first meeting on the 31st that you guys have the textbook PDF downloaded. If you want to have the handbook downloaded, um, go ahead. If you guys want to even jumpstart on learning the material, go ahead. Anything you guys want to do that I don't assign or you don't want to wait for me to assign, but you just want to go ahead and do it, then do it. And honestly, if you do that and show me, hey, I've been doing this work outside of your direction and I approve that you are understanding the material, I'll give you guys promotion. I will give you guys permission, um, uh, position. I will give you guys whatever you show me that you can earn. If you guys have the entire Let One textbook done before the school year is even over and want to move on to the Let Two textbook, do it. And guess what? With that, I will even give you a higher position. I mean a higher position. I will give you guys what you work for without question. I want you guys to know that I will give you what awards and rewards you deserve. Now, you think awards and rewards are kind of the same thing. They're really not. Awards are like position and rank. Rewards will be, um, and you'll see this in the room, but there will be a chart for um, unofficial ribbons. Now, I can't give you the actual ribbons because I don't have a stock of them, but I'll have a chart of like, okay, this is the ribbon, uh, this ribbon falls under this, this is who has earned it, and it'll be marked by a star or a checkbox or an X or something. And then the other ones who haven't earned it yet will be just left blank. So you know, okay, I need to work towards this one. This is what I need to do. Um, but yeah, whatever you guys work for, I will reward you and award you for. I want you guys to do your best. I don't want you to have me hold you back because you think I'm instructing too slow. Now, in the event that you guys think I'm constantly instructing too slow, I want you guys to submit me an email or even tell me in person, hey... I'd like you to kind of speed up the learning material so we can get through this faster. I have no problem doing that. I want to help you guys. So if you guys think I'm going too slow, or if you th even, also if you even think I'm going too fast, tell me. I want you guys to be able to understand the material. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and close it there. If you guys want to show up, show up. Um, you will have to fill out a few pa uh, few pages of paperwork and they're pretty simple they're just information sheets um, for RS1 to take care of if um, you're not sure you want to join show up anyway just have the textbook downloaded don't worry about the binder and stuff we'll provide you with that if you're just here for test uh, for a trial period and we'll get you set up but yeah um, I hope to see you guys there and welcome to the program <laughs>